All right, I'm Ray Lawrence. I'm the U.S. distributor for UL Power aircraft engines. This is our new 220 horsepower turbocharged 520 engine, 5.2 liter. All of our engines are direct drive, air cooled, fuel injected, dual electronic ignition, and FADEC control. The FADEC controls the, the boost on the turbocharger and it also, the timing and the uh, spark advance, fuel mixture, and everything on the engine as you go. So all you have is a start switch and a throttle. These engines can go in a wide variety of airplanes, RVs, glass airs, lance airs, uh, the, the twin velocity. We've got a number of, uh, RV-12 is a very good candidate for the four-cylinder engines. Uh, the Sonics is uh, just aircraft, uh, RANs. We've got, like I say, what just a wide variety of planes. The four-cylinder engine, uh, the 350 series uh, and the 260 series are very close in weight to the Rotax 912 and 912 IS. Uh, it's just, it's less complex. It's a direct drive and air cool without the, without the radiator and, and the added complexity of the gear drive and the radiator. There'll be a boost control valve that's, that's not shown, not here on this engine. But the boost control valve interfaces between the the intake manifold up here and the and the wastegate control down here and the ECU and it monitors the the uh, manifold pressure to keep the to keep the pressure it opens and closes the wastegate to keep the manifold pressure at max of 38 inches of, you know pressure if it tries to go above that then it opens the wastegate more and bleeds the pressure back off i'm using 2600 rpms for uh, no excuse me 2400 rpms for cruise with this engine, with the normally aspirated engine, I was using 2600, that's why the confusion. But uh, this is max RPM at 2700, 220 horsepower, and I'm using 2400 RPMs for cruise. The max fuel burn on the engine at full power is 17.6 gallons per hour. 75% uh, of that is 13.2, so and 13, that, that's what I'm getting is 13.2 gallons at 34 inches of manifold pressure for cruise. Uh, and with my RV4 at 10,000 feet, I'm cruising it at, at, at that power setting in 190 knots true. This is going to keep 38, be, be able to maintain 38 inches of manifold pressure up to about 15,000 feet. The actual installed weight of this engine with oil is about 280 to 285 pounds. So we're about 10 pounds less than uh, three, 320 Lycoming, 160 horsepower engine. This engine, uh, the, the, all the engines are priced in euros, so the, our price here in the US varies with the fluctuation of the exchange rate. Uh, this engine is 40,000 euros, so right now it's about $48,000. Uh, the normally aspirated version of this engine right now is about 36,000, so it's, it's about $12,000 more for the turbocharge. Wix Aircraft uh, is our official part supplier. Uh, I'm, o I'm always available for tech support or you know whatever's needed. I can also get some parts if Wix happens not to have them. Uh, the engine is extremely easy to maintain. All the spark plugs are right here on top, easy to get to. Fuel injectors are right here on top, easy to get to. The starter, the oil filter is accessible right here. Uh, same with draining oil. So everything is very easy to work on on this engine. Uh, parts cost on this engine, uh, the parts are, are extremely reasonable compared to Rotax, Lycoming, tradition, the, all continental, the traditional engines like that. They can contact either myself, uh, at Ray at ULPower.com, or, or Robert, and I, this, uh, Robert Helms at this, the same address, rhelms at ULPower.com.